Okay folks, Yeltopian here again. Thought I'd just tell you a little quick story about uh, my wife. I was listening to a story from Jay this morning about a person who shall remain nameless and some prunes while he was on a trip to Germany. I got a kick out of that. Apparently she did too, but uh, don't tell her I said that. Anyway, thought I'd tell you a little story about my wife. One night, I'm sitting in the, um, oh, what should we call it, necessity room, necessitizing, minding my own business, and I heard footsteps coming through the house, tick, 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 real fast, and I could figure out two things from those footsteps. One, she didn't know I was in there, and two, her mission was urgent. <laughs> So I thought, oh boy, I'm going to have some fun. <laughs> so I sat there, put my head down on my chest and let my arms hang over my knees like I was dead. And she came rushing in there and stopped. You can almost hear the brakes go on. And she pushed me on the shoulder and, Dale? Dale? How you doing? I raised up, backed her across the room. Her eyes were big around as saucers and she had that look on her face that said, I am so glad you are actually alive because now I can kill you and it won't be pretty. And uh, she backed up there and said, that was not at all funny. Well, folks, let me tell you, it was funny. But she did get the last word in. It was just about a year later. I reminded her of that little incident. and She told me that she wasn't as worried about whether I had actually expired as she was worried if I had expired. How was she going to drag me off the throne because she had to go real bad? <laughs> Friends, be nice to your wives, okay? Well, when you got an opportunity like that, you got to go for it. <laughs> Take care. This is the Utopian. I'll see you down the road.